hi welcome now i am going to show you how to reconcile the outstanding and payments of uh, customers okay so what i am going to do is that uh, i am going to reconcile these outstanding amounts and payment payment amounts by the customers uh, uh, in a single table okay so what i have here is uh, two different tables here one is customer and outstanding amounts and similarly for the customer and payments okay these two leads i want to reconcile but uh, you must see here that um, uh, here in the first list customer one then the customer two is missing okay similarly for the uh, customer payments customer 10 is missing okay and customer 8 is missing we, we have only customer 7 customer 9 okay so both the list we have some of the customers ids are missing similarly in the first list you can see customer 3 is repeated twice uh, there is two transactions uh, for outstanding okay similarly for the customer 13 you have two transactions for uh, payments for customer 13 okay so there are some repetition in the first list as well as in the second list also some of the customers are missing in the first list and some of the customers are missing in the second list okay so how can we get a most list first we want the most list of customers first then only we can connect to both the outstanding and payment amounts so how can we make a master list okay so the master list is we we select all the customers from the first list okay then you also select all the customers from the second list put it down okay end of this list put the second list of customers then what you need to do is you need to find the unique list of customers go to the data then remove in the data tools you have option remove duplicates remove it okay so you must check uh, my my data as headers because we have customer header put headers then it will show you the column here customer okay the header name then check it also this one check it and press ok then it removes 12 duplicate values found and removed and 14 unique values remain okay very fine press ok so now we have the unique value of customers the customer ids now what i'm going to do i'm going to take a uh, sort okay and saw the customer ids data then first select the column go to data sort okay check uh, my data as headers and uh, sort it by customers from a by a to z descending order ascending order then you have all the customer ids in proper order and is sorted okay now i am going to use the sum if function to reconcile both the list or connect both the list okay so uh, this one i am going to get the outstanding okay the for the outstanding and the payment okay before we move further what i want to do is that uh, i want to give a name for each column here okay it will be easier to refer here in the sum if function okay so i give this column of customers for the outstanding table right click define name as outstanding customer okay so this is the outstanding customer list okay then again for the outstanding amount select the column right click define name outstanding amount so i have the outstanding amount this one then similarly for payment customers
and also payment amounts okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, some for each customer here customer id here i want the outstanding from this list okay so i'm going to check this list with the uh, customer id here and uh, i will add it up those outstanding amounts okay so some if so some if as a uh, uh, it will sum it up uh, according to the if condition if condition if condition is true for any record it will consider for summing up if if condition is false then it won't sum it up okay so sum it up for range and criteria range is nothing but uh, the left hand side of the criteria or the condition and uh, criteria is right hand side of that if condition okay in other words you can uh, remember that uh, range is range is something like where to look for and criteria is what to look for okay so range is where to look for look for in the customer outstanding list okay outstanding customer okay so look for here and what to look for once you select this list automatically is showing outstanding customer okay what to look for i want to look for this customer id okay then what i must do i must submit up the outstanding amounts again outstanding outstanding amount okay close the bracket enter now you can see it uh, is submit up for it went it picked the c001 from the cell g2 and go to ca outstanding customer list finding the out outstanding customer list it is here then it is added those corresponding outstanding amounts uh, for this particular case for the customer here c0001 it goes and find out the c001 records here and uh, uh, adding the corresponding outstanding amounts okay enter 709 okay similarly i drag it for the other cells c002 is zero because it is missing here okay and this is the thing okay so since it is missing the value is zero okay then c003 1496 so it added these two values and uh, showing you the sum of the outstanding amount because it is two two records are here okay and uh, similarly for all the records okay now we are dragging the formulas because it is working fine because we use the names the ranges so it the ranges never change okay if we instead of ranges uh, the range the name of the ranges you just you just to put uh, a2 to a15 something like that if you are not using the names then you must make sure it is calculating a proper taking into consideration proper range okay if it is the range also moving when you move the formula you must use the dollar sign okay to if it is a a a2 must be dollar a dollar two okay so it's better always create a name for the columns that's why it will be very helpful when you drag the formulas you no need to worry about it may change the range name okay so the name remains uh, constant for the whole range okay the values may not change okay similarly for payments some if so range is nothing but the condition left hand side of the condition where do you want to look look for in the customer list in the payments uh, so where do you want to look into in the payment customers and uh, what do you want to look into i want to look into the first uh, record of, of the master list which is g2 okay and uh, what do you want to submit up i want to submit up the corresponding payments list okay payment amount okay so either you can select again or what you can do is you can just uh, type in 
I want the payment customers once you start typing it will show to you the list payment customers then select it from there then I want to look into G2 and uh, what I want to submit up payment amount this uh, list names are you defined okay we defined in the in the first step okay payment amounts okay close then enter you can see the 527 okay then uh, 461 and so on when you go to the eighth one you doesn't find any record in the payments so it is zero okay so 10 also you do, don't have any records so it is zero and 13 it added both the records uh, 13 has two records 362 plus 100 which is 462 14 you don't have a record okay so what you can do is you can also uh, make a conditional formatting here home conditional formatting you can just highlight the values uh, cells by rules okay so whichever is equal to zero zero just highlight okay how can you do that one go to home conditional formatting you select the cells highlight the cells by rules equal to okay this one go here put a zero and uh, select whichever uh, color you want to give okay and plus okay okay now you can see the zero ones okay so zero uh, uh, customer zero c zero 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 two is missing in outstanding and this records missing in customer eight customer ten and customer fourteen is missing in the payments okay now you can also subtract the difference if you want you can do this way okay or you want to proceed with the further uh, adding interest all those stuff you can make sure okay so this thing you can you can find uh, this is a peculiar case because uh, i wanted to show you if the customer is missing in the first list okay and other things you can see what are the outstanding amounts okay after the payments okay so this way you can uh, reconcile uh, your uh, list using whichever way you want to work on okay but a basic thing is i shown you how to connect to two different uh, list of uh, outstanding and payments okay hope uh, this example is helpful to you and uh, god bless you